Watch this. I'm about to get DQ. Good morning, everyone. How are you doing on this beautiful Ohio day? So, the title of this video more than likely is going to be There's a First Time to Try Everything. So, TQ. <laughs> <laughs> what? TQ is about to cut this log up, okay? <laughs> so Nate from Bissell Maple Farms has invited us over to his place here. And uh, as you can see, there's a little bit of wood around here. Just a little bit. So we're going to give it a go. He's got us a log up here. He's so gracious to show us how to do it because I've never cut logs. So uh, yeah, Nate, you want to show us your expertise? Yeah, well, awesome. <laughs> there he is. I guess I don't have anybody. I to throw I'd say, it. how many hours are on this mill? 30. Yeah, we're professional amateurs at this point. 30 hours, yeah. you know, woodland mills. Very nice. Are you sponsored? No. You sure? I am sure. You're positive. Yeah, Bissell Maple Farm is not sponsored by anybody. <laughs> <laughs> sponsored by Syrup. Yep. I think I saw him sprayed on here a second ago, right? Yeah. You sprayed syrup on it. Not so quite. real quick before we hop into this, what is this line? Because I don't know if I've ever seen that on so, any of the other few channels I've seen. This is your lubrication. Okay. All it is is water. There might be a little Dawn dish soap mixed into this yet and a little bit of windshield wiper fluid. So it'll run down this line. This is your flow adjustment. And then in here, you have like a it's a pretty specialty valve and it's hooked into your throttle so when you pull the throttle it's going to compress this tab and it opens the valve so you can see it shot some of it shot out there. Oh, okay so it's going on to the blade yep. okay i was thinking it was going to the engine no this is just to keep your blade cool and keep it cutting good you put in a little bit of dawn dish soap especially with these pine logs it'll help cut the sap yeah and that sap will stick to everything that makes sense this time of year we're starting to put windshield washer fluid in it which is purely for antifreeze okay because if you have it uh straight water inside these brass fittings it'll freeze expand crack that's stuff. not good it gives you big issues so absolutely this is pretty darn cool i'm excited it's a, it's a pretty good it's a piece of equipment like as you get closer you can see it's yeah this is uh, the biggest one that woodland mills makes and we got this trailer from a fella named dan reed up in wisconsin he builds these especially for the woodland mills trailer okay so i can actually have almost twice you know the the, the milling length as the standard woodland mills trailer. so the mill is separate from the trailer it is yeah and i i'm not afraid to tell people i got eighty five hundred dollars invested in this nice with you know the cant hook and everything else so it's it's a good value for yeah. what we do and everything. What what do you mainly do with it? Is this for personal, you know, use or are you selling well, I wood? I can tell you why we bought it. It was a terrible idea. <laughs> it was, uh, we got a contract with a large grocery store uh, in our region and our pallet guy went out of business. And oh. I said, I'm not going to let pallets stop us from doing what we say we're going to do. So we bought this mill to make pallets. Nice. And we were fortunate. We actually found another supplier that was even more reasonable than the one we had but yeah typical entrepreneur we tell ourselves a story right and then go chase it and uh now it's for fun <laughs> really right. youtube apparently if you want a successful youtube channel you need a sawmill that's kind of right there in the agreement what is it the <laughs> you guys heard it first okay don't so. tell tq he needs a sawmill <laughs> you okay? should have let me tell her that <laughs> dang tq you're ruining the fun all right so what so. we got up in here hiding Piece of cake. All 14 it is, horsepower. There you go. You're on off switch. Fuel on off and choke. Choke it once when I start it up first time in the morning and then after that it'll pretty much go. I've had it off for an hour and a half, two hours and it'll turn right over and run. So all we're going to do is turn it on and go and then there's the throttle and you just compress the throttle and ease into it and just kind of let it, you'll feel it kind of going. And then this is a badly mounted tachometer. <laughs> we need to find a better place for it, but the idea is you want this to, you have to be at least 3,800 RPMs, and you'd like to be 4,000. So you can hear it, but you just kind of glance over at that every now and then and see if your RPMs are dropping, you need to, might need to slow down, might need a new blade, might need to make an adjustment on the throttle cable. So that's just something to keep an eye on. But I think I got blade tension, we got water. We're, We're gonna try to make a four by four, right? That's what I'm hoping for.
goose, thank you. I thought this was pretty cool so pay attention to how close that blade is to the log it literally is like scraping butter off with a butter knife it's just pulling that sawdust right off the top of the log it's amazing because if it was just a, a micrometer smaller or lower I should say it would hit that and bend the blade and that would be all kinds of bad It's important. There you go, babe. Turn my way. I'll get a good thumbnail. Oh, yeah. 
I get a four by six out of? So, if you get it the four, you don't want to go right to four by four, right? Because it's going to shrink some when it dries. Yeah, this stuff. Actually, this stuff doesn't look as wet as I expected, but it's going to dry a little bit, or shrink a little bit as it dries. So. Okay. What do we got? Here? You gonna take another one off? It's over six. I'm not gonna take it. another. You wanna flip it or you wanna go? Yeah, I'll make it a big can. Why not? Those just kind of hold it in place. Yeah, those are called log dogs. Squares on the table there. This is important. You found out. So what they're doing is squaring the log up because they know the top plate that they already cut is flat. That end's thicker than that end. You need I just that? want to make sure this is clean. So these pieces right here will hold it. Isn't that cool, guys? You're literally taking a tree that's been growing and now going to turn it into something that's usable. That's pretty darn cool. And uh, really got the wheels up here spinning. So I don't know if it would be something I could justify using a lot, but I'll tell you what, this is pretty cool to be able to make your own wood, I guess you could say. Build your own structure. They built all this with the metal roof out of that.
SQ Sawmill Queen. I'm digging it, guys. I am, and I haven't even ran it. Like, TQ kind of stole the show on this one. I ain't gonna lie. I kind of did that myself, though, because I was supposed to run it. And then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna joke with her. She's probably not gonna want to do it. And she wanted to do it. Now I ain't gonna get her off of it. You know what I'm saying? So, shot myself in the foot with that one. But there'll be plenty more opportunities, right? Are you guys doing anything with your shavings or are you just tossing them? Uh, and I come to get some for horse buddy. Oh, okay. So at this point, you got options. You could make framing lumber. Right. You could use so, this as a support. The reason I left this at uh, seven, because it's six and a quarter this way. If I just, I mean, it's a little over seven this way. Because I can go. I can put this into dimensional now. Yeah. So I can go inch and a half, three, four and a half, and then six, and then I have like an inch left over. But so when you buy lumber from like Lowe's or Home Depot, it's dimensional lumber, which means that a two by four is exactly two inches by four inches. It's an inch and a half by three. So oftentimes, like when we built the trusses on this, those are a true two inch by six inch. So when you're milling your own lumber, you can go a little bit heavier and have a little bit more strength right you know or if you're building something lightweight you could do you know there's often times that that's all dimensional so austin will mill mm -hmm. all the two by fours over there are inch and a half by three the four by fours are true the stuff in that pile is all goofy they used to actually make lumber true though right mm -hmm. they they made it two by two three by three whatever mm -hmm. four by four and yeah kind of got wacky kind of like some of the engines did there for a little while if you guys remember uh they were putting certain horsepowers and they weren't true to that horsepower and then they had a little wall suit and got that all figured out and yeah so so yeah certain horsepower to rpm or something like that yeah or, you know it gets all kind of wishy-washy but so we're just gonna build one of the things austin and i have to do before maple season is you saw those shiny sap tanks when you pulled in yeah mm -hmm. all of the sap from this farm flows underground from outside in the pump house it flows underground into that garage Wow. And we used to have our sap tanks in there, but we needed a room to work. So we pulled the sap tanks out, and now Austin and I are going, well, we got to build a shed. So mm. that's why we're milling material, because we want, we like the sap tanks in a building so they don't, uh, it's easier on freeze, and you can keep it so, sort of warm. Right. So we'll build our own shed. Absolutely. I needed some workbenches, so I built some workbenches. Yeah. I mean, when you got a sawmill, you can do that, right? Yep. Hey, thank you once yeah. again. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Yeah. She should be thanking yeah, you as well. Thank you for milling. Thank doing... you for putting yeah. in the hard work. Austin, also, tuning it in. Austin is replaced. Austin. And there you go. And good, good job, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you for uh, being the uh, model for the sawmill S for the day. Yeah, there you sawmill go. Sawmill queen. I, I like it. I already talked to him about it. It's okay. going straight to her head, somebody guys. Tell, somebody tell Spencer that I need a sawmill. Oh, gosh. We're not even sorry. I'm, I'm ending the video. Cut. Bye.